Hello and welcome to Sports Edge. It's World Series time and we'll talk about the Fall Classic in just a minute or two. But first, John Pearson, you were down in Bridgeport. Big college hockey game, huh? Yeah, you know, uh, down uh, at uh, Webster Arena down there, Quinnipiac uh, hosting UConn. Love when these in-state uh, teams get together. Quinnipiac made the jump from a mid-level college hockey program to a major player when it moved from the MAC to the ECAC. And UConn is now trying to follow a similar path. The Huskies joining Hockey East, and this is their first year in the big-time conference. Tonight, a chance to take on the Cats. The Bobcats, the 15th-ranked team in the country, hosting the Huskies. As I mentioned, at Webster Arena in Bridgeport, Connecticut looking for its first win of the year. This is a rivalry that goes back in the day. UConn goalie Rob Nichols was fantastic tonight. Stopped 36 shots. Huskies were challenged on every shot they took uh, tonight, or QU was challenged on every shot they took. First period, that's Evan Richardson giving QU uh, a deficit of 1-0. UConn up one zip at that point. Final minute of the period, Huskies get another goal. Trevor Gerling. His first of the season, and Connecticut had a two-goal lead. Ran Pecknell's guys trying to rally, and they get one early in the second. This is sophomore Sam Annis. Says he's stronger and faster this year. It's showing so far. His fourth goal of the year. The Cats are within one. Later in the second, Patrick Kirkland is going to take advantage of a nice setter from Corey Ronan. The Huskies add another after that and go on to get a big win. Their first win of the season, 4-1. to one. Yeah, we've played pretty well this year. You know, we haven't been able to close out some games, and we talked about playing on our toes and uh, not on our heels. And I thought we were very successful tonight and effective playing on our toes. I thought the UConn goalie was outstanding. He was the best player in the game, and you know, that's, that's part of hockey. You run into a hot goalie, but you know, we need to be better. You know, we were sloppy. Just disappointing. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll right the ship. We're struggling a little bit right now. Some of our best players are struggling, but we'll we'll get it going. Well, I want to play him every year, and I think Rand and I both uh, are in favor of that. And, I think it's going to develop into a fantastic in-state rivalry as the years go by here. And I'm sure we'll see these two again sometime soon. And the Huskies always seem to get up for Quinnipiac. Played them tough last year. QU had won four straight going into this one. But uh, it's a whole new ball game in the state with all the hockey going on. Hey, look, if, if UConn can develop a big-time program, let's face it, they're going to be playing at the XL Center, yep. right? They're going to be playing most of their home games there. They're in a great conference. The BUs, the BCs, Vermonts. They can recruit. They can hop right into that scene. It's, it's only good things for the state. We've already seen two in-state schools playing for the national championship a couple of years ago with Quinnipiac and Yale. I think, it'd be, I think it'd be great. Oh, I think it's going to be great. And if somehow Sacred Heart gets a little bit of traction, too, you got four D1 programs yeah. that, you know, yeah. any one of them can win on any given night. It's going to be fun to watch.